Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. So it's time for a lovely TTV shout out. So I want to go ahead and shout out carmarshall.com. They have over 100,000 vehicles, new and used. So if you guys are interested, if you're shopping for a new vehicle, you guys can go on their website, you shop, they do the negotiation. The link to their website will be pinned down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys check them out. So once again, if you guys do not know, Azealia Banks was trending all over social media yesterday. And this time she was not trending for killing chickens or, you know, wilding out, but she was trending because she made it all the way to the Breakfast Club, okay? So if you guys have not seen her full Breakfast Club interview, it was definitely crazy. A lot of folks are talking about it and there's a lot of controversial parts okay so one of the first controversial parts of her interview is that she went in on RZA honey she drug RZA's ass for the filth called that man a cokehead basically said he don't read a bunch of self-help books and now he thinks he's some type of guru she went off on RZA I want you guys to go ahead and check out this clip of her talking about RZA check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary do you think that uh if, it, if that would have happened maybe a year later during the whole Time's Up Me Too movement, people would have heard your voice a little louder? Who gives a fuck? I'm not, like, trying to... <laughs> like, seriously, like, I really don't give a fuck about these two fucking clowns. My my biggest thing is, like, you guys fucked my moment up. That was my movie, and you fucked it up, Riza. You know? Have he reached out to you at all? No, and he better not. Has Russell Crowe? I mean, you never know. No. Now, how does that affect with any other movies that you try to do? Does that reputation, alleged reputation of what happened? Of course it will. You know? Have you seen it yet or no? Not as of yet. I don't, I don't know, to be honest. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that was really stupid. Like, you fucked the both of us out of a lot of fucking money. You dumbass. Fucking idiot. Technically, it was Russell Crowe's fault. Yes, and now yeah, now Riza and I the bat at for him that was wrong. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah, And yeah. now now you and I Riza are out of a lot of fucking money because nobody went to see the fucking movie. The movie flopped. We didn't have a soundtrack. All of the things that we were supposed to get done, we didn't get done. But every time, you know, every every time you're like calling me to go to the studio, I show up to the studio and you're fucking coked out. Who, Riza or Russell? Riza. Rizzo's a dummy. Like, he's really a dummy. Don't believe any of that fucking gong-banging, fucking nunchuck-throwing shit he be talking about. That nigga's a fucking clown. Chill out, man. That nigga is a fucking clown. Seriously. The nigga, the nigga read one self-help book and, like, goes like this. You know what it is, man. You know what? And he thinks he's some fucking sensei. You don't want to say, a, say alleged, alleged cocaine. Alleged. alleged. Yes. Alleged. But fuck him. He's... Honey, when I tell you she went in on Rizzo, okay? She drug his ass for the filth. I had to clutch my invisible damn pearls. I'm like, damn, Rizzo does coke? Well, then I shouldn't be shocked because damn near everybody in the industry does something, Okay. But anyhow, that wasn't the craziest part of her interview, okay? The craziest part was when DJ Envy decided to be messy, okay? This was supposed to be by Azealia Banks, so of course they had to bring up Cardi B. We see you, Envy, with your messy ass. So DJ Envy asks Azealia Banks, did you call Cardi B an illiterate, untalented rat? And basically, Azealia Banks was like, "Uh, yeah, I sure did. So I want you guys to go ahead and hear what Azealia Banks had to say. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Uh, Well, did you call Cardi B uh, illiterate, uh, what was it? Untalented rat. I did. Why? Now was this out of nowhere? Did she start? Out of nowhere, my dear. No, it's not out of nowhere. I think that. Oh boy. You wanted this. No, I'm just don't I, say I, oh I, boy. I'm asking. I'm just. I just think that you know, and it's gonna sound really deep. Mm-hmm. So, when I look at black women's culture as like a whole thing, right? And then you think about the the media and the power that the media has, like how the, the media had the power to get rid of me, the media has the power to make anyone like the forefront, you know, the, the, this, this, this is what we're trying to like grab black women's consciousness with right now, you know? 
I don't know, because I, I feel like maybe two years ago, the conversation surrounding black women's culture was really reaching an all time high. And we were really like discussing, you know, our power amongst ourselves. And, you know, Beyonce came out with Lemonade and like there was just this really, really, really intelligent conversation going on nationally. And then everything just kind of changed. And then it was like. Cardi B, you know what I mean? You don't think it grew though? What do you mean grew? Like it grew. I think it, I think uh, people took what Beyonce was doing and it grew like in all aspects. Because I mean, for every Cardi B, you got a SZA and you got a Issa Rae and you got a Ava DuVernay and you got Tiffany Haddish. And when you say right, Cardi B, right, right. talking about her music and what she raps about? No, 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 caricature you get what i mean this caricature mm -hmm. of a black woman that black women themselves would never be able to get away with you know like if my spelling and grammar was that bad i'd be canceled if, if Nicki minaj smelled like that you'd, we'd, you'd be ragging on her all smelled? spelled, spelled. oh i was like what <laughs> if Nicki minaj spelled like that you'd just be ragging on her all day you know and i mean fab has like, been spelling wrong his whole career and we like fab Right, but we're we're talking about women. Got you. You know, so we've we've already established that there's a double standard there. Um, I think that when it comes to this this female rap thing that we have, you know, I just don't understand how we go from like, or just not female rap thing, this black women's culture thing. I just right. don't understand how we go from. Beyonce and Lemonade and Solange and all of these like great conversations, Black Lives Matter, all these conversations to like this. Well, black women aren't monolithic though either, right? I know we're not monolithic, but come on. And you used to like Cardi B. I, I used to. I mean, they had a video of you in the club going crazy to vote. Yeah, I was, I was really so, drunk what, that what made, night. What made you not like her? You know, because I have three daughters. Of course, I don't want my daughter to be a stripper. Of course, they're not going to be a stripper. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not that. that. I just she's a businesswoman now that's employing people. Why she looking like that? Because that's the, because it's just like I don't know. I feel like you guys just use everything to like make this like bigger than what it is. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I feel like it's like a little like you call somebody illiterate. Untalented rat. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I let the record show. I wasn't even gonna bring it up. By the way, no, I'm just asking. I know you I weren't know. gonna bring it up. No, I'm asking because I don't. I don't. I don't know. You know, I. I just. I've never seen that. I've never seen that at the forefront of female rap. I've never seen that. I let. I didn't know that the standards that that the bar would be lowered so much. You get what I mean. So it's kind of it was kind of like a culture shock, like the bar went from Beyonce Lemonade, this very very extremely intelligent conversation to like. But we see that in all genres of music. We see that yeah. in rap. We see yeah. that in where people are she, talk she's just about a young lady J. from Cole. the hood. But okay, and so that, and that's you know? great. That's mm -hmm. great. That's great. That's great. But when you're talking about this female rap thing, like bitches that really push their pen. Girls that like live, sweat, breathe this art thing, you get what I mean? I just, I just feel like it's, it's unfair to like the real institution of female rap. Like it, it was the same thing with like, we're talking about this for way too fucking long, honestly. I think you, I think you give Cardi B enough fucking free promotion. Let's talk Cardi, about Anna Winter. But I love Rhapsody. In fact, and I love Azalea Banks, and I love. Tink. I think Cardi B would love Anna Winter. I think <laughs> it would make. All right, honey. So you guys just heard what she had to say about Cardi B. Azalea Banks did not hold back. Y'all know she has no filter, and she's gonna keep it real. And as you guys can suspect, I low-key agree with her because I've also called Cardi B out on this and how, like I've always said from day one, if Cardi B was a dark-skinned black chick from the Bronx, she would not have made it as far as she has with that attitude, with her being uncouth, with her being so open, you know, with her just 
talking the way she talks and carrying herself how she carries herself. If that was a full black chick on stage twerking and pussy popping while pregnant, she would have been drugged by all these black men on YouTube and, you know, talked about. But because she's a Latina, it's seen as sexy. It's seen as something different. So I definitely see where Azealia Banks is coming from. But Cardi B definitely has something to say about this. Cardi B took to social media last night and she went off. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Cardi B had to say about what Azealia Banks had to say about her on The Breakfast Club. So Cardi B says, Beyonce? Wasn't Beyonce the same woman she was talking shit about and dragging all over the media? I'm from the hood. I speak how I speak and I am how I am. I did not choose to be famous. People chose me. People followed me on Instagram and the people gave me a platform to introduce my talent. I never asked to be an example or a role model. I don't want to change my ways because I'm famous. That's why I just mind my business. This is coming from a woman that bleached her skin but wants to advocate. Goodbye. I'm not apologizing or killing myself because of who I am. Why is it that male rappers can speak how they want to, act how they want to, but people constantly bash me for it? Why do I feel like I have to apologize for being who I am, talking how I talk and being what I call ghetto? What the fuck? Leave me alone. Then she says, every week it seems like I'm in somebody's mouth. Why was nobody talking about me when I was on Love & Hip Hop? All of a sudden, I'm the reason why the world is in such a terrible place. I be minding my business. I wake up and boom, something about Cardi B. I don't get it. And then she says, stupid hoe, unimportant unattractive, unemployed, tell a Maddie to get some guap guap bickin' head. Then she says, bitch you stress, you can't flex, get some money ho and tell me why you pressed. All right, so you guys just heard me read what Cardi B had to say. And like I said, I do see where Azealia Banks is coming from with her points. A lot of people would dismiss it just because it's coming from Azealia Banks and not somebody else. But I also get where Cardi B is coming from because a lot of these guys in the industry are very uneducated, very uncouth. You know what I'm saying? They say whatever they want to say in their records. They act any type of way. They're just as ratchet, but nobody comes down on them the way they do Cardi. One thing about Cardi B is that is Cardi B. That's not a persona. It's not her putting on. That's why a lot of people do like her because Cardi B is just who she is. She does not try to be anybody else. Hence why a lot of people do flock to her because she's just a real person. That's how she talks. That's how she carries herself. And she makes no apologies for that. So because of that, I can respect her for living in her own truth and just doing her. But I have to be honest, like I said from day one, had that been a full black chick or at least a dark skinned chick, Nobody would pay her any mind. She, she would have been just basically dismissed and talked down about. You know, like, let's keep that all the way real. And I do agree with Zilla Banks when she says that, you know, you don't see the same hype of guys, you know, going behind Remy Ma and other artists like they are Cardi B. And a lot of that is because she's Latina, you know. So I do see that because I don't get the same hype, you know, going towards Cash Doll and Remy and a lot of these other dark skinned artists, you know. But that's not Cardi B's fault, you know what I'm saying? You can't blame Cardi B for that. Cardi B is who she is, and if people want to flock to her and support her and support her mannerisms, that's on the people. Cardi B may not speak well and may not be as articulate, but the difference is Cardi B stays in her lane and she really don't mess with nobody. She doesn't really start a lot of shit with people. She tends to keep to herself. And my thing is why it's so easy to pick on her and say things about Cardi. I also have to, you know, pull Azealia Banks' card because a lot of her behaviors are very unbecoming. A lot of her behaviors have been uncouth. I mean, let's keep it real. She bit another woman in the titty when they didn't know who she was. She got upset at the club. You know, she made a whole video, you know, scraping up chicken guts out of her closet because she was doing Bura Haria. You know, so Azealia Banks has also put herself out there and she's also been a walking stereotype at times when she's always gone after other black women and disrespected other black women. She's also gotten into it with everybody from Beyonce to Rihanna to Remy Ma. So she plays into really negative black stereotypes as well that black women can't get along with other black women, that they're always talking down about other black women. So my thing is before she judges Cardi too harshly, she needs to realize that she's also perpetuated a lot of bullshit as well. So, you know, at at the end of the day, you're going to like who you want to like. You're going to rock with who you want to rock with. If you're team Azealia, that's great. If you're team Cardi, that's great. But I just wish that after a while, all of these females would just get together, you know what I'm saying, possibly collaborate and make some bomb-ass music. It's sad that so many female artists are always divided. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Azealia Banks. Not only calling RZA a damn cokehead, honey, and putting him on blast, but also going after Cardi B and saying that, you know, she feels like Cardi B 
is very untalented and, you know, the whole Cardi B persona is not a good look for, you know, young women and things like that. And then how do you feel about Cardi B's response to Zillie Banks? Do you agree with what Cardi B is saying that how come it's okay for men to behave this way and talk this way? But then when it comes to her, she gets bashed for every little thing that she does. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.